this class you worked out one problem on phase shifting transformer formulate y bus matrix for a network shown in figure a phase shifting transformer is connected between the buses 1 and 2 this network consists of three buses one phase shifting transformer and three lines the phase shifting transformer of nominal tap ratio magnitude is 1 angle is 5 degree the tap setting side the non tap setting side is 1 therefore 1 angle 5 degree is to 1 series line admittance is given that is yt is equal to minus j 1.05 per unit the admittance between the line 1, 2 and 3 is minus j 1.05 per unit uh, 1 and 3 is minus j 1.05 per unit. All the admittance values are in per unit. We know that modulus of a into alpha is equal to modulus of a into cos alpha plus j modulus of a j into sin alpha. Here a is equal to 1, alpha is equal to 5 degrees. Therefore, 1 into cos 5 degrees plus j 1 into sin 5 degrees. I can write n is equal to 1 into cos 5 degrees that is equal to 0.996. M is equal to 1 into sin 5 degrees that is equal to 0.087. Next I have to find the Y11. Y11 is equal to Y13, this admittance, minus J1.05 plus Yt divided by N square plus N square. Here Yt is equal to minus J1.05. N is equal to 0 0.996 the whole square plus 0 0.087 whole square that is equal to minus J. 2.10 y11 y12 is equal to minus yt divided by n minus jf minus into minus j1.05 plus j1.05 divided by n 0.996 minus j 0.087 that is equal to minus 0.091 plus j 1.046 the next is we have to find y21 y21 is equal to minus yt divided by n plus jf. So, minus into minus plus j1.05 divided by 0.996 plus j0.087. That is equal to 0.091 plus j1.046. The next is y22. y22 is equal to yt minus j1.05 minus j 1.05 add it that will get minus j 2.10 the next is y23 y23 is equal to minus into minus j 1.05 plus j 1.05 y23 is equal to plus j 1.05 that is equal to y32 this is 1.05 y13 y13 is minus into minus j 1.05 plus j 1.05 y13 is equal to j1.05 y31 is equal to j1.05 so this is the y bus for this system the system consists of a phase shifting transformer this way we have to work out the problem with this i conclude my lecture thanks for listening